this is Elise here with your latest nature apps explored from Monk Gardens. The app we're going to do today is called BirdNet. So BirdNet is an app that unfortunately right now is only available on Android phones. So if you have an iPhone, it's not available to you right now. It's still a pretty cool app to check out though. So hopefully it would be available for iPhones eventually. Um, Obviously, I have no control over that. We have no control over that. But the more popular the app is, uh, the more motivated maybe the makers are to make it available for more platforms. So, a little bit about BirdNet before we check out a demo of it. BirdNet is an app that will let you identify bird sounds as you hear them. So it will use the microphone on your phone to record the sounds around you and then we'll analyze that recording. You get to select a snippet of it, and then it'll analyze that recording for whatever it can find. It'll listen for bird songs and calls and compare it to what it knows, what the app knows the so birds sound like, especially the birds in your area sound like, and then tell you as best it can what those bird songs are. And it will tell you um, if it's certain that it's a specific bird or if it's uncertain or that might be the bird um, and it'll work best if you have as little background noise as possible so if you're out camping uh, it works pretty good then but if you're by a busy road it's not going to work very well by a busy road because it's going to hear a lot of traffic also it won't work very well if you're talking while you're recording it will hear human voices and identify them as human. So, BirdNet's pretty cool. Uh, we're going to give it a try out here at the gardens. Um, it has just started pouring rain though. So, uh, even though we're out at the gardens, it's beautiful out here. The birds were singing just 10 minutes ago. <laughs> they are definitely hunkered down now. So. I will try to uh, get out after the rain and we will show you how BirdNet works. So using BirdNet, you're going to download BirdNet the app, go ahead and open it. It'll show you at the bottom um, who is the maker of the app. So the app is uh, created by Cornell University um, and it's kind of a prototype app like I had mentioned before so it's not available on all devices just Android devices right now and so if you have any feedback or anything for them I'm sure they'd appreciate it otherwise just downloading it and using it is really good support for it if it's something you like so this is the main page when you get onto BirdNet. It'll start recording automatically. The first thing it's gonna ask you though when you download it is if it's going to ask for access to your microphone so that it's even able to record and it's gonna ask for your location. So microphone's pretty obvious. It needs your microphone so that it can record the sounds around you. But location lets it narrow down the bird species that would be possibly heard in your area. So it pulls information about what birds might be in your area from eBird.com. So eBird is uh, a website that tracks birds in many different ways um, and it's really a great way to figure out what birds might be in your area. So letting it have your location helps narrow down what it could be listening for instead of trying to decipher the sounds you hear from the hundreds of bird sounds that the app knows. Then it can just pull from the few that it knows are in your area. So it'll record here. So the big microphone button makes it start recording. Pause makes it stop. Pretty simple. Um, I'm gonna show you a couple other things before we actually go listen to some birds. So if you go to the menu up top on the left, it'll give you some options. So the top one is show your observations. So I had an observation, ooh, observation earlier today that I did while I was talking. And so it says that it heard a human. So that was me. It was accurate that time. Um, under that, there's explore your area, there's settings. I have never messed with the settings too much. It seems to work pretty well with the defaults, but if it's something you want to play with, go for it. It uh, can show you common names in uh, many different languages. So if another language works better for you, you can switch it from English. Um, and then it asks some about species identification and then some about the uh, 
the way the range in which the microphone will hear and things like that. So I've just left it at the defaults and had no problem with it. There is a tutorial which just lists how to do it, right? Um, there's all sorts of information about the privacy and license here. It does need your location so that it can see what birds are around you. Um, you are not required to make an account for this app unless you want to claim authorship. So when it shoots your recordings out to the server to kind of be analyzed, you can have your um, authorship attached to that if you want. Otherwise, it just kind of creates a random jumble of numbers and letters that shoot goes along with it to figure out where you are and who you are. Uh, but it doesn't have any of your personal information, if that makes sense. Um, so this is not necessary. I don't have an account or an authorship account with this. Um, and even if you do, it they, the app doesn't share that with anything else and they don't contact you for any reason using your email address that you, pr you provide. So it's an option if you wanna do that. Um, and then you can even read a little bit about the creators as well. So that's an option. Um, so again, the steps are also right down here at the bottom. You record, you select what you wanna analyze, what you want the app to try to figure out uh, what that bird was and then it'll show you the results so we're gonna I'm just gonna do this for fun we're gonna record while I'm talking and then we'll just say that we're gonna pause here and then by swiping along here it'll tell you how much you selected so I selected from six and a quarter seconds to 13 and a quarter seconds in my full recording which is a total of seven seconds and then I can either analyze or save so I'm just gonna analyze it Oop. All right, so the only thing it heard was me talking. So it says human, homo sapien, almost certain, which is correct because I was talking during that entire recording. So it's right. Um, and that's it. It's really that simple. And then from there, you can just go back to record and start all over again and keep going. Uh, something to note when you are recording, it's not, as far as I've found, so if you heard a, a bird that you wanted to hear or analyze back in second two, which we can't see anymore, you can't get back to it. I've never been able to do that. So if you hear a bird that you wanna know what it is, you've gotta pause it before it ends up off the screen, okay? So that's kind of a thing to keep in mind. So I think from here, we're gonna go out and see if we can hear any birds and uh, see what the app thinks of them. All right, so we are at the edge of the pond in the gardens. So I picked this spot because it's kind of far away from the road um, and so we won't get so much traffic sounds. And there's always a good selection of birds out by the pond. So we're gonna give it a listen and see what kind of birds um, the app comes up with. pretty quiet out all of a sudden, but we're going to give it a second. So if you can see this yellow spot here, that was a bird call. So let's see what it thinks about that one. Oh, all right, so it says that one wasn't so great. That's okay, we'll try again. Ooh, so actually we'll try this out. So it shows at the bottom, you can click show wild guess, see what it thinks. Eastern wood peewee, only a wild guess. Um, it's not completely out of left side field, you know, it could be a wood peewee, it could not. So if you really want it to take a guess, it'll do that for you. So let's try another one.
for that one we got a red winged blackbird and it says it was likely that red winged blackbird. So we're going to pause it, see if we can select some of this and see what it thinks the birds are. Oh, so it says it couldn't identify any from that recording. I can hear the birds, but they might be just too far away for uh, the app to be able to identify just from the sound that it's collecting. So. We're gonna move spots and try again. All right, let's see if we can find out what this was right here. Oh, so it says it's a wood thrush. So wood thrushes are birds that we see out here at the gardens a lot. We even had some nests of wood thrushes last year. So I would guess that that is correct. Now I'm no expert on bird sounds, uh, so I don't know these offhand. So that's one of the reasons I really love this app. Um, and it even, it'll even tell you like how certain it is. This one, it says highly uncertain, but because I know I've seen that bird out here, I know what it looks like. I'm gonna guess that it is correct. So let's try again. So we're gonna go back to record. And I'm going to hit the big microphone in the middle, and it'll just keep recording. We're going to see if we can do this staccato piece right here, see if we can tell what that is. Oh, didn't, didn't have a good guess, but we're going to see if we can show a wild guess. Ooh, it thinks it might be a turkey. Now, we've never seen turkeys out here, that doesn't mean they're not here, but I do know what a turkey sounds like, and I don't think that it's a turkey. So, not a good guess, but it says only a wild guess, so you got to be able to take that with a grain of salt, know that it could be wrong. Let's try another spot. Do you see these funny ones right here? We're gonna see if they can figure out what that one is. So we'll analyze that one. Gray catbird, almost certain. And I do know catbirds and the sounds they make and they sound like a meow, just like that. Um, and I did just see a catbird actually. So I would say that it's almost certain and I am pretty darn certain that that was a catbird. That one was pretty cool. And you can see that the sound looks different when it's recording. So that's a pretty unique looking uh, marker there. That's neat. Let's see if we can get one more bird. Let's see what this was. Blue jay, almost certain. We've got blue jays out here for sure. So we've got blue jays, catbirds, guessed a wild turkey. That wasn't quite right. But you can see that this app kind of, uh, it does its best. And if you are even a little bit familiar with the birds that might be in your area, you can even see the pictures here. And if you click on this blue jay, it'll take you to the Wikipedia page. So you can even learn more about it, see more pictures, uh, hear a song if they've got the song on the page there. So it's a good way to uh, check out the birds in your area and learn a little bit about them. Okay, so I hope the uh, our demo of the BirdNet app helps you uh, try to explore the birds in your backyard a bit. When you're, rem you, when you're using the app, remember that you can analyze the bird sounds by selecting those portions of the, uh, of the recording, but also remember that you could save them if you want to too. So if you ever record a cool bird sound, you get a unique one or one that you don't see a lot or hear a lot, you can hit that save button right next to the analyze button and it'll save it so you can go back to it in the future. Uh, BirdNet's uh, really cool, I really enjoy it. Um, I have had a couple issues with it. If you don't have good uh, data connection, if you don't have a good cell phone connection, then it sometimes has an issue where it'll give you an error where it says it cannot connect to server. 
But other than that, if you're in an area with good service, then you're probably good to go. So if you're really like remote backpack camping or hiking or something, it might not work. But if you're in a local park or in your yard, you should have no problem, um, from my experience anyway. So I hope you enjoy bird net and I hope it helps you enjoy those birds that sometimes you hear but never see. And uh, maybe through time you can use bird net to learn some bird songs and really get into birds in a new way. So thank you so much again for watching uh, Nature Apps Explored with Monk Gardens. Um, stay tuned for next week.